make sure everyone has the materials that they need for today. So we've got, we're, we're going to need paper, uh, pencil, eraser, ruler, a straight edge. I mean, anything that has a straight edge, I'm using a baseboard. So <laughs> you, can, you can use whatever, you, a side of a book if you don't have a ruler is fine, whatever. And some coloring pencils. And uh, the learning points today, we're going to be learning about one point perspective and a little bit on overlap. Now this is very beginner. Uh, anyone who can hold a pencil should be able to do this lesson. And there's no pressure. So if you fool up, you can pause it. I'm going to be saving this to my Facebook page so you can go back and, and rewatch it and, and start over again if you, if you need to. Uh, some of the language that I'm going to be using today, uh, vertical lines, parallel lines, horizontal, orthogonal, and the vanishing point, which comes with one point perspective. So the whole drawing lesson today is all inspired by the movie Up. Uh, it's a Pixar movie, I'm not sure if you've seen it before, but love that movie, one of my favorite Pixar movies. And I, I uh, tied in my little stage with, with the movie concept, so just to make it a little bit more unique. And I'd like to give a shout out to Miss, uh, Ms. L.A.'s class from Cape, uh, Cape Smoky Elementary in Inganish, Nova Scotia. They did an art lesson using my work and it was unreal, the, the results that they did. They did an awesome job. I never did get a chance to do a Facebook Live session with them or a Skype. So uh, I apologize for that. It's been a little bit crazy. So hopefully next year or, or at the end of this year, whenever this, all, this whole uh, corona business clears up, we can, we can revisit that again, because I'd like to chat with them. But anyway, they did a great job, just wanted to give a little shout out to them. So, without further ado, let's get started. So first off, everyone has their piece of paper. I want you to position it like this in front of you, so portrait style. So if you can look over here. Yep. The girls got their page like this in front of them, so the page should be tall, and skinny. All right, so uh, with your finger, I want you to find the center of the page. Just put your finger on the center of the page. And I want you to just go over a little bit and up just a little bit. Using a ruler, I want you to draw a rectangle there about three finger widths wide. So I'm going to use this little eraser that I have just to make it faster. Right around here on your page. Now, throughout this whole drawing lesson, I want you to keep in mind you need to push lightly with your pencil. We're going to be doing a lot of erasing. Half of it has, uh, half of your picture is going to be erased. So it's important to push lightly with your pencil. So you need a, a rectangle about this size and around here on your page. Not too high up, not too far over to the, to the left, right around here. Any questions yet or no? Only Bella. <laughs> She's pretending like she doesn't. <laughs> Good job. Okay. Now I'm gonna go extra slow just, just so that people can make mistakes and then erase them and then be able to catch up to us again. All right, now, with your finger again, I want you to point to the center of the page. I want you to come all the way over to the right side of your page and down just a little bit. I'm gonna get you to put a small dot right here. This is called the vanishing point. So all of the edges of what we're gonna create are gonna go way back towards this point here. It's called the vanishing point. All right, you guys ready? They know, yep, yeah, they're good. Fix that <laughs> That line needs to be a little bit more straight. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> good. Okay. All right, now, using your ruler or straight edge, we're going to connect three of these corners to the vanishing point. This, you need to take your time. So what we're gonna do, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line this corner here up with the vanishing point using your ruler. 
and really lightly with your pencil. Don't push hard because we're going to be erasing the most of this. Actually, I'm going to do it with a... No, I'm going to keep it with this. Keep it steady. Connect this corner all the way back to this vanishing point. So your line should look like that. Then, with the bottom right-hand corner, we're going to connect that with the vanishing point. So with your ruler, line your ruler edge up with this corner, and then again with the vanishing point, and draw a line back like this. And then the final corner up here, top right-hand corner, connect that with the vanishing point, and line those up. So you should have something that looks like this. Or like what the girls have here. You want to see Bella's? So your square should be up in the top left-hand corner, vanishing point over here. I'll show you those next time. <laughs> All right, next step. Using your fingers or your hands as a unit of measurement, I'm gonna get you to line your finger up three finger widths from this edge to this side. That's With right, Buff. This top line here, this is, these lines are called orthogonal lines. You line your three finger widths up and you're gonna put a little line on that side, so it should be one, two, three finger widths wide. And once you've done that, you're gonna take your ruler again, and you're going to draw a vertical line. Now see how my baseboard or ruler is the same direction as the edge of my page, this is a perfect vertical line here. So it needs to go perfectly vertical, the same as this edge of the rectangle. So from the top orthogonal line down to the middle orthogonal line, that's as far as I want you to go. If that's off just by a slight bit, it's not going to look right. So this line needs to be parallel with this line here. And anybody just tell me if I'm going too fast, just mention it in the comment section. So the middle orthogonal line here, I want you to take your ruler and we're going to do a horizontal line. So the horizontal line, it needs to start from where we ended here on the middle orthogonal line. And the line needs to be, see how my ruler is going in the same direction as the top and bottom of my page? Right over to the last orthogonal line on the bottom. So you should get what looks like an L, a backwards L, same as what the direction of the front is going. And then comes your eraser. So hopefully you heeded my warnings at the beginning. You're going to need to erase all three orthogonal lines here. So I'm going to erase that and erase all of that up to where we drew with our ruler. So what you have check on the girls there and see how they is doing. a is a cube that looks like it's just a little bit above your eye level. So you should be able to see the bottom of the cube and two sides. Looks good. Yeah, that goes a bit too there. Just a second, you erase a bit too much. So your orthogonal line needs to go back here. <laughs> there. And there. And we'll clean this up afterwards. So now, Skeddy, you need to erase all those lines going back. Okay? Good. Rock and roll. Okay. I think people might be catching up a little bit. 
Are they good? Right. I think so. Oh, no. Okay. A little slower. Go a little slower? That's the general. Okay. <laughs> I'll give you about 30 seconds here, and I'll give you enough time to kind of catch up to where I am right here. Okay, we ready to go? All right, next step. We're gonna draw a little triangle on top of this rectangle, okay? So basically, you gotta think about where the top of that triangle is gonna go. So what I kind of say is, use your finger spaces again. So three finger spaces up from the top of that rectangle, I want you to put a dot right at the top. So if I already used one hand to measure up three finger spaces, and it's gonna be right between these two corners. So I go up, put a little dot, and then with your ruler, connect those to the corners. Top. And then from there to there. Good. I'm not going to have much of a roof to see there, but that's okay. Okay. Once you have your triangle drawn on the top, <clears throat> we're going to connect the top of that to the vanishing point. So line your ruler up. <laughs> Wait now, Kashi. Okay, I have a dog that needs to go outside. Come on out, bud. Come on out. Come on outside. Come on. So that goes all the way back. And like I said, push lightly. Sorry, I should have said that before I went and did that. Because you're going to be erasing the majority of that line. Okay.